Alfredo Pasta is one of the most popular on YouTube and my question is why? Why? It's done the wrong way by the wrong people, huh? I have to show you how to make it and this is how you make it. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a classic Italian-American Italian because it is an Italian dish. So you wanna eat Italian food, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Italian-American done the real Italian way. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to make amazing Italian recipes. Today we are talking about pasta alfredo, the most popular pasta on the planet. We don't even eat it in Italy, we don't know what alfredo is. We call it pasta with burro, pasta and butter. But this pasta is not really popular in Italy, so I need to learn from you why is it so popular. So alfredo pasta was served in a restaurant called Alfredo, back in 1920s or 1930s, to a few Americans, okay? These Americans were served pasta with butter, okay? So the guy who served must have been called Alfredo, so he basically said to these guys, this is Alfredo pasta, my pasta. <laughs> so these guys went back to America and they added cream, parsley, chicken, milk, mushrooms, and whatever more they added, you know? So the dish completely changed. It became something new. It became something that is not Alfredo anymore. So I want to show you today how to do the right thing, how to do the real Alfredo. But let's have a look at these videos first, okay? Okay, here is a recipe from Old Recipes and it shows you how to make creamy Alfredo sauce. Let's learn together how to make it because I, I don't know how you guys like to have it. So 3.7 3 million people watched this video. Okay, let's see if these 3 million people made the recipe the right way. Separate an egg and reserve the white for another use. Stir the yolk with a fork and set it aside for a minute. What are you doing with the eggs? I don't understand. Are you making pasta dough? Because it doesn't look like it to me. You don't need egg in the Alfredo. Melt three tablespoons of butter in a saucepan over medium heat. You don't need to melt the butter for Alfredo. It melts in the pasta. Then stir in one cup of heavy cream. Why are you putting heavy cream? You create the cream with the parmigiano and the butter and pasta water. Add a dash of salt. You do not need the salt for this recipe, let me tell you. If you use a good 24 months old parmigiano, you don't need the salt. A pinch of nutmeg. You don't need the nutmeg. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano, no Parmesan. What is that? First, Parmigiano is not French. Why do you call it Parmesan? And a quarter cup of grated Romano cheese. If you don't have Romano or think it's too strong for your taste, just replace it with another quarter cup of Parmesan. Stir the cheese. Guys, Parmigiano is the right ingredient, but I love using pecorino. I'm a pecorino lover, so she's doing the right thing this time. The cheese until it's completely melted. Then mix in the egg yolk. What for? What you put egg yolk for? All right, I'm gonna show you how to make Alfredo sauce done with two ingredients, butter and Parmigiano. This is too much. Come on, guys, how can you make things complicated? The good things about this video is that I didn't see parsley, so that's the best part of this video. Now I'm gonna show you how to make it. So I'm using 40 grams of beautiful butter per person. So today I'm making pasta for two, which means 80 grams of butter. And I'm using as much Parmigiano I want. And I mean it, I put a lot. Then we need to use fresh tagliatelle or fettuccine. 
you cannot use dry pasta for this pasta. So I'm gonna show you how to make simple, easy, egg fresh pasta at home, okay? So we need 200 grams of zero zero flour or plain flour will do the job and two eggs, okay? So each egg, you need 100 grams of flour. One egg is one person, one person, 100 grams of flour, one egg, simple. I'm cooking for two people, two eggs, 200 grams of flour. You do the maths if you have more people. Now, first thing to do, guys, is we make a well. So you've got 200 grams. We make a well just like that. Make it large enough so the eggs can fit. And now we add the eggs in the middle. Okay, right in there. Hello, eggs. These eggs are from the farm. Organic eggs, this pasta will be super yellow. Now to mix, you can use a fork or use your hands, okay? The fork makes it easier, but I like to use my hands too. So this is what we do. Be careful not to get the pasta out, okay? So mix until we get a nice yellow bright color. What I'm gonna do now, slowly, slowly, I add the flour. A little bit at a time, okay? Not too much, a little bit at a time. Now I'm gonna use my hands because I feel more comfortable with my hands, okay? Now this is what we do, we mix. And we are going to create the dough. Now look how beautiful this dough is. Look, look how simple. I like to follow this movement, okay? So I get the pasta, I push forward, and then I come back. Push forward, and then I come back, okay? Push forward, and come back. And look how beautiful this wonderful pasta dough is. Nice, yellow, smooth. Now we wanna give the pasta some rest, okay? 10 seconds to create the gluten. Make sure it doesn't dry up so we cover it, okay? Leave it in there for about 10 minutes. All right, guys, after 10 minutes, we get a beautiful pasta. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful. And we cut, okay? We cut about this much. So we should be able to make one day, one, two, three and four. All right guys, this is a pasta machine. If you don't have a pasta machine, please feel free to use a rolling pin, bottle of wine or anything. Now what we do is we have settings. Setting number one here is the wide one. It goes all the way to number nine. But we're gonna stop at number six. I don't want my pasta to be too thin. Flour, put flour here and put flour here so the pasta doesn't get stuck. Very, very important, this step. Now, this is on number one, the widest setting. What we do is we press the pasta a little bit. Why? So it's easier to go through. And here we have it, see? Now, number one, we got the first one, see what we do now? We fold, so we let the head out, and we do this again. here we have it see now number one from number one we go to number two okay we go to number two and look what we're doing here look how much this is gonna stretch look how beautiful this dough is number two from number two we go to number three number three from number three we go to number four number four and here we go here we go number four from number four, we go to number five. Look how long this is gonna get now. Look how long. Number five. Ah, see how much is stretching? And now, it's going to stretch the way we want this to stretch. Number six. Take your time when you do this. And see how much this is stretching? Stretching to perfection. Number six is what I want. Now we put some flour on top so it doesn't get stuck to the machine. Flour, put more flour, and now we're going to cut it. And here we go, our fettuccine are coming out. So guys, make sure you always have enough flour on the pasta machine and on your pasta. And here it is, here we have a beautiful fettuccine. Oh yeah. 
Look how perfect this fettuccine are. Just put flour on, guys. Don't forget, put the flour on because you don't want them to get stuck and the flour will disappear when you boil the pasta. I do like to grate my Parmigiano Reggiano on the spot. Do not show me these big bottles that you buy from the shop. They look like detergents full of fake Parmesan cheese. This is the real deal, 24 months Parmigiano Reggiano. We want to grate this nice and fine, okay? Fine, grate fine. No. And do not say to me Parmigiano is too expensive. You know how long it takes to make this Parmigiano? 24 months. The quality of the ingredients. Now get a nice large pot of water, bring it to boil, and then we add one tablespoon of salt. Now, this is the only time we use salt in this recipe. We already have a salty cheese. There is nothing else that we need. Now it's time to add the pasta in there, okay? Now I'm gonna add a beautiful fresh fettuccine that we made, and they are going to cook in less than three minutes. You will see how fast they are. Now guys, make sure you get a nice mug and get lots of pasta water, okay? We do need the starches to combine the butter with the Parmigiano Reggiano. All right guys, now let's get the pasta out, okay? And just use a tongue to get it out. You put it in a nice large plate, just like this. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right guys, what we do now, we're gonna place this plate on top of the pot we are going to put the butter in there, okay? And feel free to break the butter, okay? Break it in half, break it into small pieces, just like that, so it's easier to melt. Just break it. Now you will see what's gonna happen now is the pasta is gonna melt the butter. This is how you make your cream, guys. A little bit of pasta water in there, okay? Just a little bit of pasta water because we wanna combine the ingredients. I've got the steam from the bottom of the pan helping us to melt the butter, see? Very, very easy. All right, so the butter is melted. Now is the time to add the Parmigiano Reggiano. All right, so now the, the plate is nice and hot. So what we do is we're going to remove the plate from the pot. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish it off here, okay? The plate is hot. Look how creamy it is, look at that. Look at this cream here, look at this. Can you see that cream? That's from the pasta water. Can you see that cream? Look at that cream there. That's just from the pasta water, okay? What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a little bit more pasta water, not too much, maybe two tablespoons. Okay, see? Now, what I wanna do, I wanna add the cheese now, okay? We're gonna add the cheese, a little bit at a time. I put the cheese in there, and now I want to stir, okay? So by stirring this, gently, we are going to create the Alfredo cream. This is the real Alfredo cream. This is how you do it. See how creamy it is? See that? The cheese is melting, it's creating a cream. I'm gonna add a little bit more pasta water, just a little bit more, two more tablespoons. And here it is, gently I'm stirring, and here it is how you create the cream. Look at this. Look how creamy. But I just want you to pay attention to the cream inside. Can you see the cream in there? Can you see that cream in there? Can you see that? See that cream? See that? That's the Alfredo cream, guys. The Alfredo cream that you want in your plate. Okay, I've got more cheese to add here. A little bit more cheese, and then we're finished. One more tablespoon of pasta water. The final touch of Alfredo. Why did you decide to add cream to this beautiful dish? Why do you say it's bland? It's bland because you use fake cheese. You use a 24 months Parmigiano, you use a top quality butter, it's not bland. It's just perfect. Perfection, look at that. Look at that cream over there. Guys, please tell me that you can see the cream because if you can't see this cream, <laughs> then we have a problem over there. Look. Look at that, look at that. Please, please pay attention to this. Please tell me 
that you can see this, huh? You can see that, right? It's no milk, it's no cream, it's happiness. And now it's time to serve. Ah, beautiful, creamy, Alfredo. Yum, 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 yum. Now, it's very important that we add the extra cream. And look at the cream I've got over here. Look, if you don't believe me, look. Look at that cream. Look at that. Oh, extra cream everywhere. Hello. Last but not least, a nice generous amount of Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh yeah, now we are ready to enjoy a proper Alfredo. The way Alfredo wants us to eat. See, the more you mix it, the creamier it gets. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. No cream, no parsley. The best time of the video recipe. This is how the real Fredo is made. Do you see any parsley? I don't see any parsley. Do you see any cream? Oh yes, it's a cream made with butter and Parmigiano Reggiano. Mmm, mmm. Super creamy. It's not bland, it's full of flavors. The Parmigiano kick, oh! And let me tell you, if you use Pecorino Romano, even better, I love Pecorino Romano. Ready? Mmm, mmm. It is a must, you make your own pasta. Silky, moist, and creamy, oh! Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is the only Alfredo pasta you wanna put in your belly, okay? Forget about the rubbish out there. Delete all these videos on YouTube that make the wrong Alfredo. This is the only way you make Alfredo. Guys, I can't stop eating. So thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate.